Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi Sagittarius, by sign. Today I am going to do general reading. May or may not resonate everyone, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you like my content, please do like the video, guys. Then it will reach more people. And thank you so much for supporting me. If anyone need a personal reading, I am giving my email ID in description box. You can reach out to me, and readings are chargeable. So first we will see messages regarding your career and finances. Then we will see love messages. Sagittarius, Fies, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. the moon and eight of cups under the deck so sagittarius right now you are overthinking or you have some illusions regarding your career and finances uh, but you need to trust your intuition be calm and just think you will get your answers don't overthink and eight of cups so you want to walk away from something that doesn't serve you anymore it could be the thing situation or your person but you want to walk away here because you want to take stand for yourself. You are putting yourself first which is very good. But don't overthink. Trust your intuition and follow your inner voice that will lead to your right path. In recent past definitely you felt uh, very good. You got success. You felt um, uh, financially independent. And you got name and fame. Everything was fine in recent past because we got 9 of wheels and 6 of wands. And present queen of cups and four of swords. Right now you are focusing on yourself. Uh, you investing energy on yourself. You want to be emotionally happy. Emotionally satisfied. At the same time lots of you. Four of swords means you are focusing on your healing journey. You want to be emotionally uh, happy. So you are taking care of yourself. Uh, right now you, are, you want to take break from your daily routine. And you just want to. Uh, peace you just want to feel emotionally safe and happy and you want peace so some of you if you are doing consistent work without taking any break the message here is you need to take break from your daily routine future 10 of wheels and chariot in future definitely we'll see financial stability and things will move forward in your life maybe you will face some obstacles because chariot is here but you need to focus on your goal when you focus on your end goal, uh, whatever obstacles will come, uh, those will go away no matter what. But you need to focus on your end goal. Just move forward no matter what. Be consistent. And 10 of wheels means definitely financial stability and a lot of growth financially. Uh, and in your business or job, you will see growth. So let's see what is the advice for you regarding career and finances. Hermit and Ace of Wheels and Seven of Wheels. So I think... You need to spend some quality time alone to get more clarity. You need to focus within yourself because the hermit, you need to focus inward rather than outward. Then you will get a lot of chances. You will see a lot of opportunities. And seven of wheels means planning for something big in near future. So if you're planning, if you're planning something big, definitely uh, this is the right time. Mental clarity is very, very important. But uh, you need to focus inward rather than outward. And I'm seeing a big opportunities coming towards you. So let's see now messages. 
So your post and current thoughts. Your current thoughts. Your post and present energy and your present energy under the deck three of swords. Some of you are dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, especially Capricorn. Your post and present energy is the devil. They are obsessively thinking about you, but they are being very, very stubborn with you, Sagittarius. They are thinking about the third party at the same time, equal give and take. Definitely, I'm seeing the major third party issue for some of you. I'm seeing right now, a lot of drama is happening between both of you guys. Uh, five of Wands, unnecessary drama is taking place in your relationship. Uh, I think your person is obsessively thinking about you. Uh, and some of you are dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, a lot of earth energy is here. And some of you are dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially Leo. And your present energy is two of pentacles. You are juggling here. You are juggling Sagittarius. At the same time, you want to take your power back. Because nine of wands with the strength card, you want to guard it up. You want to more focus on yourself. Some of you are dealing with Leo, fire sign. But you are expecting communication also. So that's why you're juggling. One time you don't want this person, but another time you want this person. You keep juggling here. Because under the deck three of swords, definitely you both are hurt. So let's see your person next action. So your person next action, definitely they're losing their nights over you. They, they, they're overthinking here. They're waiting for the divine timing here. Uh, they do love you. They truly do love you. But they just want the right time to express their feelings. So I want to clarify the Empress. See, they really want to communicate with you. They really want to talk with you. King of Wands. But they are in some pain because 9 of Swords and 10 of Swords. So they are overthinking regarding this relationship or uh, personally they are going through something in their life. So that's why they need a time to express their feelings. Because they are feeling like a uh, third party involving more in your relationship. So let's see what is the near future outcome of this relationship and where this relationship is headed on. Here, some of you are dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Hermit, Seven of the Three, Waiting Game, Missing Each Other, and No Strong, uh, Enough Foundation here, and Waiting for Communication. The Hermit, some of you are dealing with Virgo, H sign. So let's clarify the outcome here. Some of you are dealing with Pisces, water sign, hanged man energy, moon energy. So I'm seeing definitely some instability in this relationship to be honest with you. A lot of overthinking, illusions. So you both have illusions here. You're both creating your own illusions in your mind. So you, that's why you both are not seeing the reality here. You person really do love you but they are not able to see the reality. So let's see what is the advice for you regarding this relationship or situation. Queen of Cups and Four of Swords. So you have very strong emotions towards this person. But at the same time you need to focus on yourself. You need to heal yourself. Two of Swords. See 
you are at some crossroads sagittarius so you need to be very clear emotionally uh, so let's say like oracle messages your commitment is being tested first quarter more for some it is a testing time for you so you need to be patient and you need to be honest you need to do your work consistently no matter what work through your fears new moon is scorpio so if you have any fears first you need to work through your fears you need to overcome your fears and your hard work is paying off so don't give up be consistent no matter what definitely your hard work will pay off attachment some of you you are attached to some people some emotions so you need to work on yourself you need to come out of this attachment and angel of balance see you need to balance your emotions feelings everything in your life and your angels has your back under the deck the temple path so whatever path you are going to take it is a safe path you don't need to be worry at all and angel of love love yourself first at the same time your angels has your back sagittarius but love yourself first put yourself first so this is the reading for you guys hope it resonates to you please do share like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon then you will get all my video notification thank you so much for watching and supporting me if you need a personal reading i'm giving my email id in description box you can reach out to me and readings are chargeable thank you so much